You know how disgusting communism is? You certainly know how much I love communism, right? China is celebrating 100 years of communism, and they are. They're actually celebrating 100 years of communism. Well, that's disgusting. Thank goodness we here in America, all of our institutions will stand firmly against that, right? Well, everyone but CNN. CNN put out this story. I'm not even making this up. Quote, the Chinese Communist Party is about to turn 100, but Xi, meaning Xi Jinping, will be the real star. That's how we talk about communism now? That's how we talk about communism? We used to dedicate our lives in this country to stopping the human death cult that is communism. Now we have our media organizations openly supporting it. We have our representatives like this Daniel Hernandez in Arizona openly supporting it. So we keep hearing about the threat of communism. It is a great threat. It is such a bad threat. You know, what's a bigger threat? White nationalism. The insurrection that happened on January 6th. Those are bigger threats to our nation. Hmm. That's a bigger threat, right? White nationalism? Well, this might be my favorite video I've ever seen in my life. Hong Nguyen, he had a response. You know, he escaped communism. He had a little response for Mr. Hernandez. I just got irritated, so I came over here and pressed the white button. Is it okay if I say white button? Um, you know, I just recently heard somebody said that uh, white nationalism, or actually communism is not the, the enemy, but white nationalism. So let me tell you something about white nationalism. White nationalism didn't drown 250,000 Vietnamese at the South China Sea. The communists did. White nationalism did not execute 86,000 South Vietnamese at the fall of Saigon. Communists did. White nationalism did not put me here. Communism did. So don't take it lightly. Don't mock me. Don't mock what I go through in life. It's rough. I lost most of my cousins, my family members, due to communism. If we don't stand up to teach communism to our children, we'll lose this country. So, sir, don't mock me. I'm pissed. Hong Nguyen bringing the truth and bringing the pain. He's not the first. We have had people from Cuba on this show talking about communism. We've had people from the Soviet Union on this show talking about communism. We've had so many people who've escaped communism saying, it's here. Why can't you see it? Why are you allowing it to happen here? It's here. There's that video flowing around online of a lady who escaped Chinese communism saying, it's right here. I don't just say this stuff to sound over the top. It's right here. And when you look, I mean, the, those numbers he, he just read you, those are staggering, right? That's one country. That's one country. And he didn't even come close to, because he probably didn't have time, to listing all the things that happened under the communists in Vietnam when they finally took over everything. It is a horrible, disgusting death cult. And we have an obligation to stand up against it. But back to what I said in the beginning, CNN is promoting it? This sounds like, this sounds like a, a, a cover of a Vanity Fair with a movie star. Z is the real star. Real star of what? The Communist Party in China. I mean, let's, let's understand this. The Communist Party of China has killed over 70 million Chinese people. That's just their own people. Starving them to death. To this day. To this day. There are concentration camps running in China, and the American media is running puff pieces on these people? Is this where we are? Man, we are in bad trouble if we can't call out communism for what it is now.